Economics matters because of uh, the way we think about our world, essentially. Uh, it matters in the way we think about ourselves as individuals. Uh, it matters because ultimately we all want to have a better life and we, th we need to have a system that will generate benefits that will be able to realize the, the benefits of technology, of commerce, of interaction. How markets run, how we get to bank, how we get to shop, how our children receive their education, uh, how countries develop their healthcare systems, how we think about climate change. So really almost everything that you can see and touch around you has been shaped by economic policy making. Economics uh, should matter a lot, but the way it's done, I think it probably matters too much at the moment. Of course, economics is about much more. It's about, you know, the exchange between people in the marketplace. So it's another very fundamental human uh, desire and trait to exchange and interact. And it's about also putting to the best use, you know, the resources that we have on this planet. So economics is, is, is really fundamental for, for, for all of us. In the positive social sciences, including economics. What is in command is the rationalizing impulse, the attempt to explain the established arrangements as natural, necessary, or superior. Well, economics deals with major aspects of human existence, production, consumption, interchange, uh, most of what keeps our life moving. Of course, economics carves out a narrow component of that. Uh, a richer study would be a political economy, which deals with how these specific questions of, uh, say, production interchange uh, are integrated into a broader socio-political framework. Well, economics is supposed to be the description of the social system in which we live. And knowing uh, how your system functions is obviously a, a prerequisite for knowing whether you should alter it and knowing whether it's mal malfunctioning in any way. Regardless of whether you're interested in economics or not, I think it is hard to deny that almost all collective challenges we face in the world, be it climate change, uh, food security, pandemics, terrorism, populism, automation, or, or whatever, uh, all of these have an economic dimension and, you know, kind of like your computer's operating system, all of these problems play out in a broader operating system that rightly or wrongly we refer to as the economy. I think we're now at this moment where, you know, after a century of capitalism and economics based on Henry Ford's principles of mass production, the economics that aligned with it, um, it's kind of lost its grounding in reality. And I think we've got an assumption that what we're solving for is utility defined by consumption and that that's what's going to make us thrive. Karl Marx was a political scientist for a year. He was a sociologist for a year, and he was an economist for the rest of his career, 30, 30 years. And he, because he understood that at the end of the day, the economic forces are what really affects people's people's lives. Um, and we all live in the economy. I mean, you we, earlier before we started uh, filming, you discussed kind of the air that we breathe. Economics is the air that we breathe. Well, economics matters because it provides an intellectual framework for the way individuals and societies allocate scarce resources. It, it also gives us uh, some understanding uh, of uh, how and why people produce, consume, and distribute uh, those uh, services. Economics is about uh, improving the material conditions of society. So our goal as economists uh, is to use the knowledge, the tool, the training we have to try to achieve some good. Uh, economics matter because it, it affects the lives of uh, uh, everybody, right? So it's, it's not, not just uh, 
uh, an intellectual exercise. It's something that uh, plays into uh, how you organize work, how you uh, organize relationships between uh, the people who have capital and the people who don't have capital. How do you organize uh, uh, financial uh, uh, interactions? Economics is really our way of life. It defines pretty much everything we do. Uh, economics is important because it gives us a chance to uh, structurally think about our decisions, about government decisions, about people's, people's behavior, our investment decisions, our cons consumption decisions, our decisions on how much to educate our children. Mm -hmm.